Okay, so um, when I get back from the gym, um, I'll eat, okay? All right. All right, as grandma doing her thing in the kitchen, uh, she doesn't think I eat, <laughs> I swear. She doesn't think I eat when I'm at work. So she pretty much thinks that I starve myself and then come home, I get ready to the gym and she thinks I'm starved. I have lunch, but it's my grandma. It's her thing. She loves to cook. Right. Okay. I need to clean the papers from my car. Okay, so welcome to today's video. Now, if you guys are following me on Instagram, I made a post saying I was gonna do a Q&A. It's been about three weeks and it's time. It's time to do this Q&A. And I got a really great response. I think it was like 200 plus questions, which is probably my most commented picture on Instagram. Maybe, I don't know. I don't really keep track of it. So that's today's video and I need to get gas. So let's go do that real quick. He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim of suicidal maniacs. All right, so we're all gassed up and ready to start this Q&A. Holy cow. Yep, doesn't end here. Not in Florida. Every day. Okay, so we are in front of a yogurt shop. Yeah, in front of a yogurt shop. They actually said I can go in and do the Q&A inside, but the, they're playing Justin Bieber, so I don't want to get copyrighted for that. So outside, it's not crazy out here. But let's get this uh, Q&A started. All right, question from Z33HR. Will you ever come to New York? Uh, yes, eventually I'm gonna come to New York. I just haven't actually spaced the time, but I have family up there. So that is something that I will definitely do sometime in the future. Okay, we got a question from Orlando Riviero TV. LOL JK, <laughs> he started it with that. Uh, when did you start your YouTube channel? I started filming YouTube videos two little over two years now. Question from New Universal Order. Would you be up for a collab video interview type video? Yes, of course I would. Uh, I've never been asked to do anything like that, but I would be open for that. Question from ground underscore point underscore five. Did you clean the papers out from your car yet? Well, if you were watching this video, you saw that I took those papers to the trash can and bring the bag back. So yes, I did. Question from underscore Lavelle. How you doing, Steven? Am I the coolest person you've ever met in your whole life? Absolutely. <laughs> Question from James underscore Skay. Can you do a plain rice cake eating challenge? I've thought about it. I just haven't done it yet. Maybe sometime in the future. I'm open to the idea, so yes. Question from Zmund. Uh, what's your overall slash end goal with YouTube and eating challenges? With the overall goal with just YouTube in general, I'm not really too sure what it is, but for right now, it's just building my channel and uh, trying to produce the best content I possibly can. And my goal with eating challenges, it, it's not like, I'm not trying to make a career out of you know eating or anything like that. For me, it's just a hobby. I enjoy doing it. I know for a fact I'm never gonna be like a Matt Sony or Molly Schuyler or you know a Furious P or any of these top eater guys. I know I'm never gonna be that. So for now, I just love to do, you know, just love to eat and it's just a fun hobby for me. Question from Inelli. Inelli, uh, would you redo any food challenges? Which one? I am planning on doing all the food challenges that I've failed sometime in the future. <laughs> I just don't know when, but I plan to go get a win on those challenges. Okay, we got a question from finding underscore my underscore physique. Uh, I've just started my own fitness YouTube channel and plan on doing eating challenges as I get further into YouTube. What is the best way to start building up my eating stamina? And how often would you recommend doing challenges in order not to gain a ton of weight? but rather maintain. Okay, so the best way to actually start uh, building up and eating stamina, 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 stamina. <sighs> this is kind of an iffy question because uh, there's a lot of different ways other people do it. For me, what I did was I ate lots of vegetables. Uh, I went to Golden Crown, there's videos on that in the past where I went to Golden Crown and ate as much as I possibly can of less calorie dense foods. Uh, drink tons of water, which I don't advocate. I don't suggest you guys drink like a whole gallon of water in like less than a minute. It's not healthy, but it's just things that I did to you know build up my capacity, even though my capacity lately hasn't been that great. Also, if you want more information, there's a website called foodchallenges.com that have tons of awesome articles, which I got started by reading when I started doing food challenges. Also, if you're not trying to gain tons of weight and you wanna do food challenges, I wouldn't suggest doing it more than like 
once a week or once every other week just to see how your body responds to it. All right, so we got a question from my buddy trained to look good naked. What's your favorite natty supplement? Only you would ask that. Food, food is my favorite natural supplement. A question from my mother. Yes, it is my mother. Uh, Miss Figs, when are you coming home? Uh, I'll be home. September, I'll be in back in Vegas September for the Olympia, so I will come visit all you guys, my nephews, my brothers, my sisters, all you guys, and I will have a good time. Okay, we got a question from underscore Kara Adams underscore. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Uh, the first thing that pops into, ugh, the first thing that pops up into my mind is Australia. We got a question from DJ Burrito 99. Does your grandma live at your apartment or do you live there alone? Why is it decorated like a middle-aged single woman lives there? I'm not trying to be gen not trying to be mean. Uh, genuinely curious. I love your channel. Keep it up. Great work. Thank you so much. I okay. It's not that my grandma lives with me. I live with my grandma. I take care of my grandma. I've been taking care of my grandma for the past three. Ever since I've actually came to Florida, I've been taking care of her. Uh, she does live alone. My grandfather died somewhere maybe four months after I actually moved here to Florida. My grandfather died from complications with diabetes. So my grandma can't be here alone. I take care of her. I live at her condo. That is why the condo looks middle aged because it is all my grandma's stuff. She's old fashioned. That's why I have a box TV in my room. Question from Miss Take. Uh, did your butthole hurt after eating those spicy noodles? Yes. Uh, we got a question from Ad Suck Fit. What is the most difficult challenge that you've ever tried? So we'll rephrase that the most difficult challenge that I've ever actually completed was this burger in Jupiter called, uh, it was like a six pound burger, but it was not a six pound. I originally thought it was gonna be six pounds going into it, but it turned out to be like a 10 or 11 pound like challenge. It had like six one pound patties with bacon, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, like a whole bunch of condiments, whole bunch of stuff. And also on top of that, I had like two or three pounds of fries. I completed that in exactly an hour and I'll link the video below if you guys wanna check that out. It was the most difficult challenge I've ever completed. And for that night, I did not sleep. I sat there and rolled around holding my stomach trying to get comfortable and it just wouldn't happen. A question from Jer Duarte. If you could go back to when you were a teenager and change one thing, what would it be? And I kind of briefed on this on my last video. I don't think I would change one thing because uh, my past is learning lessons from where I am today. Uh, without that, you know, I may be in a worse situation than I am now or I may be in a better situation. That's something I'll never know. And I do truly appreciate the things that I've gone through in my past because it's helped me build the character I am today. So last question before we start training from Eric the Electric. Do you think competitive eating is sustainable long term and how long do you plan on doing it? I personally don't think it's sustainable. I mean, there's people, uh, Richard Lavera, or whatever his name is, he's like 80 something years old and still doing competitive eating. I, for one, don't plan on doing it at that age. I don't plan on doing it in, in my 30s, to be honest. Um, I will always like do some type of like eating, maybe like trying new foods or going somewhere around the world and trying different types of foods, different culture foods. Uh, but it's not something that I wanna do long term because believe it or not, I am health conscious and I do prioritize my health. I will see you guys after the training session because I don't think I'm gonna film anything in there. All right, so we're on the side of Walmart because I'm going to go in and buy some more hot dogs and some buns for Saturday's contest, but I'm not gonna be filming that. That's just gonna be for me for practice. Before I do that though, we're gonna continue on with this Q&A. All right, question from Dewindy City one What camera and editing software do you use? Big shout out to JG, hard work pays off. Dude's killing it, keep it up, fellas. Okay, uh, camera I use in editing software. So the camera I use, or my primary camera, is the Sony A7S Mark II. Uh, also, I use for a B camera, a Canon 80D. So those are my two cameras that I use. I also use a GoPro, but I don't use it too often. And the editing software that I use is Final Cut Pro X. Question from Dark at Dusk and Dawn. Any big challenges coming up in terms of calories like a huge cheat day? Well, I've been planning a cheat day for quite some time. I just haven't been able to get to it. Uh, I need a full day for me to be able to plan this out and I just haven't had a full day. And when I do have a full day, it seems to rain. So I've had some pretty bad luck with that, but I do have plans. Question from Nava the Beast. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, what made you start YouTube? Well, when I first moved here to Florida, I had no friends. Uh, I was training, I was working out, but I wanted something 
uh, to occupy my time. I was already watching Chris Jones, uh, Nick Wright, Jason Genova. I, was, I already had, I already been watching these people. And in my head, I was like, why don't you just start a YouTube channel? Pick up the camera and just start filming. So that's what I did. I bought a Canon Rebel T3i from eBay and I took it to the gym and I was filming my gym workouts and I here I am today. A question from JSOP95, what is Jason like? What is Jason like when he's not on camera? Jason is exactly the same on and off camera. Do you think you could beat Nick Dampierre at a game of skate? Absolutely not, that dude rips. Question from Kimia Hash, uh, what is the one food you are never willing to give up? And that is burritos, I love burritos. A question from Ryan underscore JV, hey Nate, I was wondering what are your plans for the gym right now? What direction are you going in? Thanks Ryan. Right now in the gym, I'm maintaining my physique, doing a lot of mobility for my shoulders, just trying to keep my body healthy. Question from Lucifer810, hi Nate, what do you do after eating for your videos? I don't eat for the rest of the day. Question from Turbin underscore eight, yo Nate, my question is, what food do you despise eating? Pickles, 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 and I don't like mustard. Question from XOXO Bish, are you Hispanic? I'm half Puerto Rican and half Korean, so I'm half Hispanic. Question from Hysteria, 007, how do you resolve digestion issues due to food challenges? Uh, I take probiotics when I do food challenges and that's pretty much it. I don't have any, I don't really ever have digestion problems. I've just been blessed that way. Question from Wings Dynasty. Cinematography, music, and editing are sickening. If given the opportunity, would you ever consider directing narrative film? I would, I don't think I'm experienced enough to do anything like that, but I would do it just to see what I can do with it. Question from The Thing, 1982. Have you ever had a girlfriend and how tall are you? Yes, I have had plenty of girlfriends. I just haven't found any out here and I am six foot tall. I'm entering the land of carts everywhere. People have been saying that I've been parking in a handicapped spot. This is assigned parking. This is where we're assigned to park. This is handicap right here. And that's handicap right over there. I don't abuse having a handicap sign. I just use it for my grandmother. That's pretty much it. All right, change of plans real quick. I told a friend that I would help her walk her dog. And that's what I'm gonna go do right now. Hi, doggy. So this is the dog I just got done walking. Are you scared of the camera? Most dogs are. Hi, doggy. She was a good dog. Huh? She was good. I got your nipples. On my dog. Yeah, your dog's nipples. I was in there for quite some time, catching up with a friend, and it is now pretty dark outside. All right, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna finish the Q&A um, at my pool right here, cause I just wanna wrap this video up so I can go inside, shower finally, and then do this hot dog practice. All right, so this is my pool that I don't get into that often. Rain clouds, looks like it's gonna rain. And then we're gonna just go ahead and finish this Q&A right here. This is gonna be perfect. Right, so we got a question from The Kendall. Uh, if I were to get a drone, could you upload a video on how to use a drone for beginners? Uh, that's not a bad idea. I thought about doing it a couple weeks back, but I'll definitely do that for the people that want to know a little more information about drones and how to use it. A question from Michael J. Schaefer. Uh, what do you want to pursue more? A career as a competitive eater or as a filmmaker? I don't necessarily want to have a career in competitive eating. I just like to eat and I do it as a hobby. And filmmaker, I would love to do something like that. I just don't think I've found my niche exactly for that yet. Question from God Aesthetics. Uh, can you do the Philly Station eating challenge in Port St. John, Florida? If you're talking about the one in Port St. Lucie, Florida, I've done that one. And if you haven't seen it, I'll link the video on the bottom. It's like a huge Philly cheesesteak and it was really good. All right, question from Pug Sand Kicks. How long have you been drug free? If you are drug free, of course. Uh, I stumbled upon your older videos and had no idea what kind of life you came from. Good to see that you have turned your life around. You seem like a swell guy. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. There's two little occasions. Uh, one occasion was the time I changed my life and that was in 2008. 
Uh, I was incarcerated, I got out of jail, and I turned my life around. Got to school, bought myself a car, was working full time, a lot of different things. And then in 2011, I got in a relationship, and it was a very quick mishap. Uh, I fell off for a very brief moment, but then uh, cut ties with that certain person and started doing my thing again. So I've been drug free ever since those times. And another common question I get asked is if I ever feel like getting high again. And I think that's something people are always gonna struggle with. I think about it, but I don't want to ever do it because I know how temporary that false sense of feelings are. Question from Randy Santel. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a question, but you are wearing a pissing shirt. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I think he's talking about in the Instagram post. I'm wearing the uh, the food challenge shirt that I bought from Randy. Question from It's Hortega. Uh, when are you doing the Mac and Cheetos challenge? Uh, my buddy, my buddy Wayne Wonder, he actually hit me up, and we're supposed to do some type of collaboration. I think we're gonna do like 50 of them and see who can eat it the fastest, but I told them not this week since I have that hot dog contest coming up on Saturday. So sometime next week we'll uh, do something with that. We got a question from Dale Doc Chance. Who do you think would win in a bodybuilding show? Dale Chance or Big Lenny? I'm going with you, Dale. I think you would blow Lenny out the water. All underscore sickening underscore lifting underscore picks. Shout out to Abby, Jessica, and Sindri. So this is gonna be the last question of today's Q&A. And this comes from Ricky underscore Illuminati. Uh, where do you work right now and worst job ever? So uh, I don't talk about my work too often just because it's really private, but I'm pretty much, I'm a distributor, but I'm a driver. And my worst job ever, okay, I'll be honest with you. I've done everything you can think of. I've worked at fast food. I've been a delivery driver. I've been a janitor. I've done everything you can think of. Uh, to be honest, I don't, really have a worse job because me in my opinion having a job is a blessing in general even if you're getting paid four dollars an hour three dollars an hour um, having the opportunity to make some type of income is a blessing uh, even though uh, it's technically not something you want to do it's something to be thankful for so that's going to wrap up today's q a i hope you guys did enjoy it sorry i didn't get to as many questions as i thought i would but there will be more q a's in the future so thank you guys for watching as always please like share subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. By the way, if you're wondering if my butthole is burning after the Korean fire noodle challenge, yes, it was.